Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to spawn some traffic in the layout you've built. So let's pick a position where we want to put our traffic spawner. Uh, we'll put it around here. Under traffic system, prefab and vehicles, you'll find a traffic system vehicle spawner. So drop that somewhere in the location of the next node that you want the traffic to go to and raise it a little bit above the ground. Now what you'll find is the forward direction of this object is uh, the, going to be the forward direction of your spawned vehicle. So we actually want our forward to be in that direction and we'll just square it up to be 90 degrees. Uh, right, let's explain the traffic system vehicle spawner a bit more. Under the script you've got a an array of prefabs or vehicle prefabs and the if there's one in there then it will just continue to spawn the one that you've got in there. If you put more in there then it will randomize between however many you have placed in the array. Right now we're just going to use the uh, base vehicle that comes with the system and so therefore we've got one. The other options are on start delay means this spawner won't start spawning for two seconds. That's what we've set it to, but you can set it to whatever you want. Total to spawn means how many vehicles this spawning system will spawn over the total life of the game. Uh, spawn check distance. Now spawn check distance and spawn check radius is this red circle or Y circle you see here. Uh, the distance is where the circle sits away from the actual centerpiece where the spawn happens and the radius is how big of a radius detection the spawner will have. Uh, that is to prevent other vehicles spawning on top of each other. So if there is a vehicle within this uh, circle, the spawner is going to stop spawning until the vehicle leaves and there are no more vehicles within the circle. Uh, the spawn delay between tries is how often the spawner will try to spawn if there is a vehicle within its radius detection. The uh, random vehicle minimum velocity, the random velocity max, so the minimum max is what it will randomly set each vehicle to as it comes out of the spawner. Uh, the start node, this is the node that you want the vehicles when spawned to go to. Uh, we're going to choose this one here, so let's just highlight it. And it's looking like that one, so let's make sure we can get to it. Let's put that on there. So now all the, the vehicles are going to go to that node first. And this node vehicle spawner spawn chance is every time it goes to spawn, uh, what percentage chance will it actually spawn? Now we want it to spawn every single time, so we'll put that up to one. Uh, and also one to note is if the vehicle is destroyed, then if this is ticked, the spawner will spawn another vehicle. So there will be no more than 10 vehicles ever on the scene, but if one of them gets destroyed, uh, therefore it's only 9, it will generate another one. Okay, I think that's all the options we need. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's get a bit closer. So, here's our vehicles being spawned, they're being spawned every 5 seconds, and they're obeying the traffic rules, they're obeying each other, Blink is happening there. Yeah. 
And you can put these spawners around everywhere. Um, there's no limit to how many you can put. And that's the traffic system in action.